My name is Reverend Israel Oderende from Ibadan. We want to return our glory and honor to God Almighty. We got connected to Papa since 2009, 2009, and since then it has been from one glory to another glory. Now, March edition last year, Minister Without Blemish, after the meeting, we just rushed out to see Papa and we dropped his seed because at that time, the building of the church have got to a place and it seems as if the whole thing is stopped. So we drop a seed and Papa blessed us. Less than two months, the project that is running to seven million to eight million, we're able to complete the, the decking. And by the grace of God, immediately we came back, we, the building got to roofing level during December time. So we look at it and we are trusting God that before we are going to see Papa one on one, we want the building to be roofed. And the project was going to around six to seven million. So we look at the money in the account and we emptied the account. We came here December 21. When we got here, Papa was not around. I said, I will wait. He said, okay. So December 23rd, Papa arrived and he attended to us in the office. We dropped the seat at his feet. He said, what do we want? And I told Papa two things. An organization is owing me some amount of money. Two, we want the building to be roofed. And he spoke the word, released the word. Less than two weeks. In fact, on our way back, Allah start entering. As we were going back, Allah start entering. As we were going back, Allah start entering. To my greatest surprise, within two weeks, before we came back for one on one with Papa, the building had been roofed. And by the grace of God now, we now have some branches. To him alone be praised. Okay. God bless you. I'm Pastor Messi of Derry Day. I want to celebrate the God of my father and my mother for his faithfulness in our lives and ministry. October edition, uh, minister, minister without blemish, we're on our way and something strange occurred. We got to a location by name of Bezi or thereabouts and we're descending the hill and something just went wrong. The, the, the vehicle lost control and we swapped into the bush and we thought that would be the end. But we are aware that we are connected to a grace that will not disgrace us. And so the vehicle kept going. And when that occurred, the villagers, the settlers there came out, the hunters and the vigilantes. They all stood. They wanted to see the end. And we are descending the hill, going close to the ditch. And all of a sudden, the vehicle stopped. Now, the amazing thing there was that my husband that day said our son will be coming with us. And I said no, because he, he was supposed to be in school. But he insisted. I never knew they were having a hidden plan. They actually, because on that tent, 11th was going to be my birthday. So they packaged a cake and kept it in the booth without my notice. But the amazing thing that, that happened that day was that despite the turbulence, the vehicle went through because three tires gone. The, the absorber twisted rim out of place. Nothing happened to that. The preservation was so heavy that the cake was even preserved. Somebody shout grace! You can't die under this grace. Yesterday, Papa gave my husband a mantle. And for over three weeks, I've been having a challenge. And I went to the hospital. They couldn't diagnose anything. They, they, they ran a series of tests and they couldn't just get anything that was wrong with me. But I am aware I was not uh, okay. I've been having serious migraine on this other side of my face, the left side. And it, yet, day before yesterday, when we arrived there, at night, we both came to that entrance that uh, Papa passes, where I used to park his vehicle at night. We prayed and interceded there. We were calling on the God of our Father. And in the course of that prayer, I noticed uh, I wasn't having cold, no kata. I noticed muka was coming out of that side of my nursery. So I told my husband, excuse me, let me just blow this thing. I blew it off and the nasal uh, uh, passage was through. Not just that. I, I discovered that when this incident, for over three weeks that I started, I, I don't remember my dreams. And I'm this dream type. I can have these dreams in series overnight and I wake up and tell my husband and in the morning 
when I when Papa gave him that mantle yesterday, when we got into the restaurant, I, I asked him to give me the mantle. I placed it on my head. I said, yes, I'm not feeling the migraine again, but I want to remember, start remembering my dreams. And as soon as I did that, I won't deceive you. I, in my night dream, I saw Papa. Papa came in my night dream and started operating the center of my head. He was removing something and returning some other things. And he stitched it back. And as soon as he does that, I opened my eyes. Then I slept back again. And before, just within two hours, I had about six different revelations. So I told my husband, I said, yes, it has returned back. I have come to return glory and praise to the God of my... Somebody shout Jesus!